Hey everyone, so in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to park a head or a group of heads or in some other consoles maybe called to freeze an attribute or head and I will show you everything everything relates to that, how to find those fixtures that are par currently parked in the uh, in the magic queue and how to unpark them. Cool, so uh, what is parking? So let me show you an example, let's say if I look at the view heads, I can select a head Maybe I'll press uh, yeah at full. I'll position it somewhere. Uh, maybe right there. Oh, I can just yeah. Let's just say I'm gonna park it somewhere. I'm just gonna position it on the wall. I'm gonna give it a color, and I would like to park this permanently until I need to actually unpark it. So if I press uh, basically everything is in the programmer now which is our head and all the values that I've selected and put it in the va in the programmer will be parked to do this if you select a group window you press the park button and it says would you like to park selected heads you press yes and now it's done so if you press clear nothing is going to affect it now you can select your lights press locate do anything you want and as you can see all the fixture, the fixture that I've parked is currently not affected by anything. It's not going to be affected by priority. It's not going to be affected by Grandmaster, DBO, nothing. When do you need it? When you have, say, a decoration or anything, you want to put your head and just want to highlight it, just, you know, give a bit of a light and just keep it there. So maybe for some, some reason, or if you want to, if you want to park certain attributes of the head as long as it's in a programmer you can park it now we're coming to the situation where you need to unpark it so how would you do this so in order to unpark it you basically need to select the heads or you need to highlight uh, the value in the what is it what is currently parked before we will press unpark button so how would you do this if you click on the programmer window and if you look at sorry yeah if you look at the no if you look at actually the output window you will be able to actually i'll show you how to identify which heads are parked there is a filter on encoder b it shows you view all so if you click and scroll down until you get to the point where it says active or parked so you can see now this head is currently in the uh, the pa it's currently parked and you can see all the values is actually here shows P pk which means it's parked what it means is uh, we can actually select this head yeah or get it all c completely selected and how would you do this before you continue if you program press the programmer window you can actually hold the shift button and then when you press active it will actually put the head which is currently in the uh, which currently is parked back into the programmer so you can see it now if you go out into the group window and press and hold shift you will see the button says unpark you click on it and it unparks the selected head so now if you press clear it will be all cleared for you again you can do the same things with the whole group of lights select like eight, just make anything and then press in the group window you can park it now again you can see it's nothing been affected again parking is stored in the show file so even if you restart it uh, several times it's not gonna save you because the fixtures are parked again you don't need to panic all you have to do is again if you're not sure which heads are selected obviously you should know this is your group you can always go to the output window and when you use your uh, filter to select active or uh, pa packed parked you select them you can select them or you can select specific head that you would like to unpark you can press enter it will select the heads now you can either go in the programmer window uh, go in a group window and press shift unpark or if you really want you can always go in the programmer window shift active it's going to take it everything in the programmer go to the layout select the group window shift unpark 
press clear, it's all gone. Cool, I hope it was useful for you. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Thanks and bye-bye.